Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about how can you calculate the number of tokens in any given text. And the reason behind this video is recently I have received lot many requests from my blogs as well as from my YouTube videos and audience wants to know how to calculate the tokens how will they get to know that the, this given text requires this much tokens so for that one way to do is you can directly go on to open ai documentation and just use that given tool and it will tell you how many tokens are there for this given text now if you have to do this using code there are various ways and in this video i will be discussing about tick token so we will see how we can use tick token to understand that how many tokens are there in any given text so let's quickly jump on to the vs code and the very first thing i will be doing is i need to import tick token so let's go ahead and install it first pip install tick token i will run this and it will install this in my virtual environment which i have already created Meanwhile, I will go ahead and import this using import tick token. So you can see that the requirement is already satisfied because I have already installed it some time back. So once it is done, I need to import the tick token as shown here. Okay, now we have the tick token imported. We need to figure out the encoding. So which encoding do you want to use? So if you are not sure which encoding to use, I would suggest you to jump on to this documentation which is like provided by OpenAI and here you can see that uh, these models are mapped against this encoding means let's say if you are talking about 3.5 turbo it supports this particular encoding. So this is what we are going to do in our code also. So here we will be using get encoding function. So I would say encoding equal to tick token dot get underscore encoding and inside this we need to pass which encoding we want to use. So I would say CL100K definitely you can take any encoding of your choice but I am just going with this one. So let me run this one. And the what, one good thing about this is it is downloading the encoding. So whenever you are running this uh, again next time, you need not to like mandatorily connect to internet. It will still work because now things are already downloaded. Now, once this encode and let's say you don't know which encoding to use, but you are very well aware that which model to use. In that case, there is an alternate function which you can use it and it will automatically pick the best suitable encoding for our given model so let me go ahead and show you that so i will grab this portion from here Tick token dot encoding for model and inside this you can provide your, the name of your model so let's say the, the one which we have just seen so gpt 3.5 turbo okay now we have the encoding ready next thing we need to do is we need to convert our text into tokens so for that we will be calling encode function i'm going to create a variable name encode in tech encoded text it will be utilizing the encoding variable which we just created above and will call encode now in this encode you need to pass the required text so if you are having a text file or a CSV, whatever file you are reading, you just read the file, grab the text into a variable or in some object and pass it over here. So I'm going to pass my text as, let's keep it simple by putting some small text, but definitely it would work for large files as well. So today is a beautiful day. So this is my text. Let me run it okay and in fact we can go ahead and print this out so you can see that how the encoding is generated so by looking at this you can see it is of length one two six and if you don't know what is the length you can definitely call a length function on it 
and coded text and it will give us six which we can also see here so this is how easy it is to identify that how many tokens are for this particular line of text so today is a beautiful day including exclamation we need six tokens to represent this particular text so at this point of time you can perform any required operation whatever you want to perform on your encoded text this is the encoding encoded text and we cannot do much with it directly so if you want to show something to the user we need to convert it back to the text so that user can see it or we can utilize it in different way where we want so for decoding this numeric value we need to call encoding dot decode and it will take the parameter this entire integer so i will grab it and paste it over here. Oh, sorry let's copy this and paste it over here and it will go ahead and encode it and you can see this is a beautiful it, this is exactly the same text which we have given over here so the overall idea what i'm trying to say here is if you have a huge text definitely you cannot pass a directory to directly to any large language models you need to create chunks of, of that now whether you need to create chunks or not it completely depends on how much tokens are utilized by that particular text so this is the very first step whenever you are passing any data to any model that you can go ahead and first thing figure it out how many tokens are required if tokens are very less or within the limits of your model then no need to create chunks you can directly stuff in your data and get the things work so i hope you find this video useful and how to use stick token this thing is now clear to you if you really find this useful make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching